more impressive. Thanks, Coach Roberts. Look, it's last minute, but every year I do a three-day skill. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another vlog. My name is Jana. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am trying something new. I went to the gym this morning. Now, I usually work out in my garage, but today I decided to go to the gym at my clubhouse. And let me tell you what I learned that I can save time. Um, one, because I... um. Instead of walking on the treadmill, I usually do an hour. And an hour gives me about a good three miles. Because I walk. Sometimes I run a little bit, but I mostly walk. But on the cycle, um, it gave me three miles in like 15, 20 minutes because you're going fast. But I do see that my calorie count was very, very low. So I don't, I'm going to do a little more research to see if calories... Do you lose more calories when you walk, run, or when you cycle? I thought it was cycling, but that bike was saying something different. So, um, on my schedule of being productive, my first thing to do is hit the gym. I'm going to go home now, start some breakfast. I may boil me maybe two eggs and make a little buttered toast. And I'll let the eggs boil while I'm taking a shower that'll cut back on time. So, I'm going to do that. Once I eat, I'm going to also study my devotional devotional um, while I'm eating as well. And then I have a 1030 meeting on Zoom. It's not really a meeting. It's more like a, like a learning, like a class. So I'm going to do that at 1030. Then I'll get dressed. So y'all see these big old arms? Your girl is in the gym. Your girl is about to get fine for summer 2024. Let me stop. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a bit. Let me get myself together. Hey, you all. Everything that I have to do today is done pretty much done I went into this office getting my little real estate journey going and I went in there to um you know get on the calls see if people need a realtor and things of that nature I did that didn't have any luck today no one really called about um, any properties but it's, it's a hit or miss so I'll be coming back again maybe three more times this month so while I'm at it if you're in the need of a realtor in the Miami, Florida area, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you. Um, I'm trying to be productive and get things done. Miami is hot. What's the degrees? It says 89, but I believe it's 99. It's hot out here. I cooked dinner already. I think I showed you that I made the curry, coconut curry um, chickpeas. 
garbanzo beans and I ate that but now I'm starving because I had that for lunch that was around two and I want something to eat and sadly you know what I'm craving I'm craving a filet of fish from McDonald's and I don't even eat McDonald's but I want a fish sandwich so I think I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get me a fish because that's really what I want on that soft bread with that tartar sauce and cheese that's what I want anywho let's go to McDonald's and this is exactly why I can't lose weight who need McDonald's God knows I don't need McDonald's I really don't so why am I at these people restaurant why I do have a unsweetened iced tea so we gonna see because I'm hungry and instead of snacking 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 I need to eat you know I'm about an hour away from home so I got to get something to eat anywho she didn't know how to take my cold I'm trying to position as well this camera she didn't know how to take my cold so I'm sure that's gonna be a little mission so yeah my filet -o fish this little filet -o fish with all this tartar sauce my fries and my tea and they cold I hate to be a jerk but forget it anyway let me get on home And now just enjoy my food on the way. And I'm going out the wrong way. And I need to cross this road, so hopefully I can do it. Nope, there's a truck. Okay. Okay. Alright, y'all. Let's take it to the house. These fries are so cold. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I hate to be a jerk, but these fries are ice cold. Like what? And they brown. Well, they're supposed to be brown, but ice cold? No. Hello. Um. No, I just ordered, and my fries are cold. Can I have some fresh medium fries with no salt? I already paid. I'm trying to return the one, the cold ones y'all just gave right, me. What I pay? are cold. It's good. Could I have some fries with no salt? Huh? Could I have some fresh fries with no salt? When you say no salt, they gotta give you fresh fries because when they old and made, they go ahead and mix them right there in your fries if you're sitting. No salt. Hey, you forget to one okay? Okay. I asked for an unsweet and tea. My tea sweet. These teenagers, Lord, I don't know. Outfit check. We are preparing to go to Samurai and my husband just was determined to make me put on a belt. So I am wearing just these shoes that I got from Mad Rag long ago. Some cargo jeans from Zara. I have on a prodigal loner Miami shirt made by my niece. I'll tag it. My bag is from H&M. It can be long, it can be short. I think I might wear it as a crossbody. 
since I have no jeans and we're off to the restaurant. Coffee. I brought a pair of slides. I think we're going to go shopping afterwards for the 4th of July. So this is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing. I tied it on the side so the shirt isn't so long, but let's see if I can fix that. I wanted my shirt oversized. So yeah. All right, y'all, let's go eat. Cause I'm starving. They want you to ballet. I'm surprised. They didn't get it like this. This was perfect. Perfect. So, the waiting time is only five to ten minutes, which is weird. I have never come here, and the waiting time is only five to ten minutes. It's at least forty-five minutes, so that's great. That is great. And here I am. I still have my piece in my ear. I went to take them off. It is another day and I have to cook. I have quite a few things to do today so I'm going to go ahead and get ready and get those done. It has been a great week. Fourth of July was so much fun on the boat and eating and just hanging out with family and friends. We had a really good time um, and now we're into another week. Um, this week I got quite a few things to do I'm trying to get myself in order. For that this smells so good I was gonna take this back but it smells kind of good this is the bourbon vanilla strawberry bourbon strawberry vanilla it smells good what's in this vanilla garden strawberry garden strawberry just say strawberry apricot nectar pink jasmine and white oak it smells familiar but it smells good so yeah, I have to get myself the week, get myself ready for the week um, so that we can, that means we need to start a new vlog and get things going for that. It has been, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my summer. It's been rainy. 
it's been raining pray for the people in texas in the islands that have been impacted by the hurricane um i hope and pray we don't get one in florida even though every year we get some kind of scare so that's that so anyway let me show y'all something i want to show you what i got from marshall's i have tried to be on my little workout kick even this morning i planned to work out well starting yesterday actually like my cycle came again it's really weird i don't understand it and i know i was a little fussy whenever you're fussy think about it it may be your cycle but i was a little fussy so today here i am again with this issue so i couldn't even go to the gym even though i have on gym clothes i may take a walk later or something just to ease my mind and get a little exercising in because it's been a week but anyway let me show you what i got i went to marshall's and when I went to Marshall's, I saw, you know, I was in the shoe section just browsing. And look what I ran into. Look what your girl ran into. Can y'all see it? Oh, here it goes. I ran into the alpha bounce adidas these are supposed to be so comfortable these adidas are the cloud nine they're called cloud foam not cloud nine cloud foams they're supposed to be really really comfy i usually wear a nine i ended up getting these in a nine and a half right so of course my daughter was with me and she was like oh they're so ugly i mean it's a workout shoe it's a workout shoe what do you want anyway so it says running it's a running shoe and it has a bounce the shoe is comfortable it's really comfortable i tried it on so i'm definitely ready to put these in rotation but so when she was like oh it's an ugly shoe i paid 39.99 for this shoe 40 dollars right I paid $40 for this shoe. But on the box, it says that the price is $89.99. So I went on my phone. And I'm like, girl, this is a good shoe. I think I went to GOAT. And I looked for the peach. I searched it. It is the Alpha Bounce Running Shoe. I got to show y'all what came up. Alpha Bounce Running Shoe. How do I shop it? How do I search it? I'm just going to go back to Google like I did. I went to Google and I looked up. Anytime you're in Marshalls or Ross or stores like that um, and you're not sure about what you're buying or if you want to know if it's worth the money, you can always go and Google it. And usually something comes up with the prices of the shoe. So I have the shoe in Peach. So it's the Alpha Bounce Running Shoe in Peach. So I searched it and I think I found it on Gold. Alpha Bounce Peach. Gold. Okay, here you go. So I found it on Gold. Look at how much they're selling this shoe for on Gold. Can y'all see that? Is it even clear? That thing say $2,475. You see the shoe. This is the same shoe. Same shoe. $2,475. So, you know, I'm like, hey, I like this shoe and all. But for $2,475, somebody could get this shoe. <laughs> somebody can get this shoe. But I just couldn't believe that was the price of the shoe. So, they're very comfy. I will be wearing these for my little workout. I'm going to get back to running. I'm also on the treadmill as well. 
I don't think I'll be, and I need some thick socks with these because I'm a nine and this shoe runs, this is a nine and a half and it feels like a nine and a half too. It feels like a little big, but it's very comfortable. Anywho, I think I'm gonna keep it because I do need some more running shoes. I'm not gonna sell it. I don't think I can sell it. Trust me, I posted it, but I haven't gotten any hits about this shoe yet. But they're so, wait a minute, they're kind of cute. And I got on Adidas today. I'm, let me show you how they look. So, more than likely, I'm going to keep my shoe. I only paid $40. And the shoe is retailing or reselling for $2,475. That is crazy. I'm tempted to go to more Marshalls to see if they have any more of these shoes people do that like it's a lot of people that buy shoes and buy different things and resell them because if you're um blessed enough to find this you know and and resell it why not sometimes people are looking for things that they can't find let me show y'all this shoe let me show y'all my shoe don't mind the mess don't mind the mess Anywho, like, can y'all see my shoe? Like, it is so comfortable. They're so cushiony and so soft. I don't think I would wear this shoe anywhere other than working out. But look how much, see how much it's, like I really have space in here. I can really put my finger in the back. A nine would have been good, but if I am gonna wear socks with this, a nine and a half isn't bad. Because I do have space. So a nine and a half isn't bad. And that's funny because I have on my Adidas today. So yeah. Go to Marshalls. Check the shoe section. Because girl. Guys. I got lucky. See how I just slide the shoe off my foot. It's kind of big. When I wear them, I'm going to have to wear socks. Well, I would be wearing socks anyway. But I may have to wear a thicker sock. $40 for a $2,475 shoe. That's what it says. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog because I do want to start another one. Not that I got much going on this week. I got to see what I got going on this week. I have a whole calendar of things I need to do. So, those of you that have tuned in and stayed to the end, thank you for watching the vlog. I will see you in the next one. I'm about to run to Club Pub so that I can cook today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Meatless Monday is tonight. As a matter of fact, it is Monday. I don't even know what I'm going to eat. Oh, I just thought about that. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to eat tonight for Meatless Monday. I have to figure that out. Because I'm already cooking chicken and rice, so... I really want me a tomato bisque. I might make me a, like a good tomato bisque and a grilled cheese. I might do that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. I will see you good people in the next one. Please do not forget, if you enjoy the content, to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bring me.
me to so many tears after all these years. See my days are cold without you. My days, yeah. And my heart can take no more. I keep on Sing with me. See, when I get you straight to leave, you always tell me that you need. 